my amazing people welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make grilled fish and chips at home all right so let's get into it these are the fish i'm going to be using i'm going to be making use of catfish it has been cleaned properly washed properly and i seasoned it with some seasoning powder some salt and some fish seasoning after I had seasoned it with those seasoning I mentioned earlier, I allowed it to rest for about 40 to 1 hour just to allow the, se the seasoning penetrate into the fish very well so it can be tasty. Alright, so after seasoning and setting aside, we are going to now prep our pepper. So these are the pepper that I used of. I roasted them in my oven before I, I brought them out to blend. So I'm going to be listing everything in the caption for you to see. I used rodo, shombo, bell pepper, onion, and some garlic. And I proceeded to blend that together. So after blending together, I blended with it oil. Actually, I blended it with oil. So I'm, I'm just going to pour it into my pan and allow it to fry for some minutes. I rinsed the plate into it. Then I proceeded to season with my spice. This is just masala, curry, and thyme. Then I also used chicken seasoning. If I have fish seasoning, you can go for that, but this was what I had at that time. So I also added some salt and I stirred everything together and I allowed that to fry for some minutes. After about 10 to 15 minutes of frying, I checked on it and I can tell that it looks okay already and now we can proceed to using it to sauce our fish. So this is the main reason why we are here today. So our sauce is ready now and we are just spreading it all over the, the fish cut. You guys, if you want your fish to be tasty and you don't want one part tasty and the other part not tasty, ensure that the sauce gets in everywhere like use your hand to to like to push it in i don't i don't know the right english to use just make sure you use your hand to rub it in properly into everywhere you can get your hands into one part of the fish that is mostly neglected is the head of the fish the gut side where it has been removed ensure to pour in enough sauce over there also because you are going to be eating it in fact open the mouth if you can and pouring sauce inside just to make the fish tasty the fish has to be tasty right yes the fish has to be tasty so we're just going to rub the sauce all over the fish the head the openings and we are just going to proceed to wrap it with our foil paper then we are going to repeat the same process for the second fish as well it's the same process as earlier we spread this the sauce all over the fish opening the court we make sure to um add the sauce everywhere we make sure the sauce gets in everywhere properly we do it flip the fish over and do it for the other we side flip it over well. again and still do the same thing sprinkle pouring the sauce in in the guts in the head in the mouth everywhere just make sure that you add the sauce everywhere and you know mix it very well together with the fish so we are done sourcing the fish now and would wrap it with our foil paper as we did with the first fish before we proceed to grill it so you guys i'm not grilling in my oven i'm going to be making use of this my grill pan you know i've preheated it before i placed my my fish on it and i just and i placed it carefully and i keep flipping it over like after 10, 10 minutes i flip them over just to ensure that all part of the fish gets done so now my fish is done I'm not going to unveil it so you guys can see how good it looks. Just look at, oh my goodness, just look at, nah, you can't tell me this doesn't look good. It looks absolutely delicious, you guys. So I'm going to place it in my foil bowl now. I'm just placing it properly, you guys. I'm I'm salivating all over again, no, I'm editing this video because, oh my god, this is too... This is still good. And for real, guys, if you want your fish to taste just as good as this, you need to follow this recipe religiously.
religiously guys So after unveiling the second fish also, I'm also going to be placing it by the side of the first fish carefully. You guys, just tell me how good that looks. Then I'm going to be putting my already fried um, potato chips. This is potato, not fries. And my sauce. That's my sauce, the leftover sauce from the one I used for the fish. I wanted to add it like that before. Then I just decided to sprinkle it all over the fish. Then I garnished with some spring onions. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and turn on post notification. Until next time, bye.